Hi guys, figured I'd film a clip. I'm currently working on uh, editing a new YouTube banner just for my channel. So that way when you come visit me, you'll actually know what the hell you're looking for. Okay, let's go. Also, I'm in the current, in the process of making dinner. We're just having a frozen pizza flatbread thing. So I'll pull that out pretty quick. Flatbread taste test because I'm intrigued by kale, ricotta, and squash. Mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. Yeah, I figured with the squash. And cheesy. Mm -hmm. It's weird that it's got pink on it. Mm. That's the beet, though. I think it's got beets in it, too. It's good. I'll give you beets. Walmart aisle for me. Fuck yeah. So I'm basically just having a popsicle and some non-alcoholic ginger beer and working on editing my title page cover YouTube photo. So enjoy watching me work. Free save, so I'll continue tomorrow. Hi guys, it's the next day. I'm just watching some YouTube on my laptop. And I'm gonna edit a video in a bit. Hi guys, so I'm just chilling watching Donut Media right now. Good question. How much horsepower does a horse make? It's also a gloomy day in the PNW. It's been super foggy. And just kind of trying to deal with it and try and not let it bring me down because it is cold and wet out. Also working on coming up with more video ideas. I want to do more sit down videos. So as I come up with those, you will see them on the channel. If there's anything you want to see from me, just let me know. Obviously, more hair videos will be coming. Um, but I will also be trying to focus on more Jeep content, a lot more lifestyle stuff. Big changes coming. I've just been chilling today. Uh, brain hasn't been too good. So I've been working on how to up my YouTube game and watching vidIQ videos and doing my own independent research. 
YouTube analytics are really helpful. If you're a smaller creator, I definitely recommend using them or uh, subscribing to vidIQ because they go very in depth. This video in question definitely covers it very, very, very well. If you're a smaller creator, I also definitely recommend looking into how to optimize your titles and thumbnails for search engine optimization or SEO. Because frankly, you get a lot of views from searches. And if you can fit that bracket, you're good. And it will come gradually. Also did my nails today, so I might include a little bit of content from that. I was gonna do a tutorial, but kind of a fail. So I stopped filming halfway through, but here's some clips that I took. So I'd already done my cuticle prep and buffed my nails. Uh, here I was applying a dehydrator. And then once that has settled in a little bit and dried out, I switched to applying primer. For this, you make sure you really don't get it on the skin. And then a thin layer of base coat, which I went and cured in my LED lamp. So I'm sizing up the tips. I normally do this before I put sticky stuff on, but I didn't plan that through. Then took the tip, scooped out some solid nail glue because I find it holds in place really well and it's able to smush down. You can see here I'm working with it. It's also nice because you can touch it with your fingers and it's not sticky when you're working with it. Also really good for 3D art. And my head's in the way, which is why I scrapped this video. And because I had like totally janked my cuticles. Once those are applied and there's no air bubbles, I went and cured them in a light. And then here I was just filing the difference between the full cover tips and my natural nail just so it would blend seamlessly. I normally do this with an e-file. Um, it's definitely a hell of a lot harder with a hand file when you're used to an e-file or a drill. Very hard to get precise. I ended up thrashing my cuticles, so I gave up on this part. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed those clips. Um, not a lot going on this week, took it pretty easy. And if you wanna see more from me, please don't forget to like the video, comment down below your thoughts, and if you wanna see more content for nail stuff, and subscribe, because I would love to have you back. Thanks for watching, bye.